All right, welcome back. Uh, I got a screwdriver now so I can set this off. So it's not gonna matter what direction the animal um, comes in. If the animal's coming from this direction, notice that they can still sit there and push this out of the way if the animal was coming from this direction. So what I'm trying to say is that if you take a look at the trigger wires themselves, it doesn't matter if they're slightly to the left or to the right, um, unless you have a specific um, way that you set this because you want a more of what's called a hair trigger, meaning the animal just doesn't have to move it that far. Uh, but in this case scenario, we're gonna say that the animal's coming from this direction, walks through here, hits the bar, boom. Notice that both doors dropped at the same time. What we have here, again, is we have the power doors. We have these locking bars, which is what we have to get out of the way in order to set the trap. The trigger rod just dangles here now, and the swing gate also is free. Um, and so now we have our animal inside. We can do whatever we want. Now, one of the nice things with this trap, and this is the best way for me to show you this, is even though there's a handle right here, based upon the animal and based upon how you have this trap set up, you might not want to use this handle. Why? Well, let's say that to start with, that what you have is you have a skunk, okay? But before you actually caught the skunk, what you did is you took some cardboard, either taped it uh, three separate pieces into a U or two pieces into a U, or you have a single piece that you have as a U. So what you've done is you've covered the entire trap with the cardboard. That way the skunk can't see you, the, the skunk can't spray you. Well, how do you carry the trap if you have this? Now, if you have a normal style trap, uh, let's say it's a gravity door, um, even if you only have the single door here, that means that the animal has access all the way to the edges, okay? So you need the handle to carry those. Here, take a look at what we have. We do have to be careful with raccoons being able to reach to the sides here where my fingers are going, okay? But for a skunk in particular, if we have this uh, covered, we can grab right here on the side. We can lift it up. We can carry it around with us uh, and then it's not a problem. And then again, if we have the setter, if we are uh, relocating the skunk when it comes time to release, all we have to do is stand to the side, get our setter on there, let me get it back up here. So let's pretend we have a skunk inside and let's pretend that this is covered. All we have to do is come here, lift up, and we can either hold this or what we can do is we can actually have like a um, cable that we have here with a hook, come up, hook it on, walk away from the trap, skunk will walk out the door. You don't even have to, to fuss with it. Uh, it's another reason why I really, really like this setter. If you don't have the setter, it's definitely much more difficult. It's not that it cannot be done, uh, but just the chances of getting sprayed are, are going to be much higher. Okay, so now that we've talked about all that, let's talk about how to do this manually. Our first steps are still going to be the same. We're going to go ahead and using the tab here, and I'm using it on this end this time. We're going to raise up the trigger rod. We're gonna position the swing door and I'm gonna go ahead and, and put that little uh, bar from the trigger rod dead set onto the swing door. Then what we're going to do is we're going to grab the springs with our thumbs, we're gonna press in, and then as we're pressing in, we're gonna lift up. So let me get a different camera angle here for you so I can show you how to do that. Um, we're gonna go ahead and then once that's up, we're gonna hook um, the, uh, the door to the, this notch, do the other side, and then the trap will be set again. So let's take a look at how that's done. Okay, here I've repositioned the trap, uh, and maybe you can see things a little bit different. I'm trying to stay out of the way here, get my biggie belly out of the way. But here's the tab I was talking about um, with the, the bar itself. So with my thumb, I'm just gonna go ahead and First, lift the trigger rod out of the way with that tab. Then I'm gonna turn my gate and set that right up on top so it looks like that. Here's 
the little hook I was talking about to go ahead and hook the door and it goes right onto that little tab. So you take your two hands, if you can see this, push down into it while you lift up. And did you notice that the trap itself kind of came up and off? That is how powerful this is. So I need to, because that fell off. There we go. Okay, now that I have that lifted, I'm just getting my hook over, rotating it so the hook is down, and now that's there. So let's spin this around. Let's do the other side now. Maybe if I turn it this way, on this one you'll be able to see. I put my two thumbs up like this. I grab, see how my hand is right like this on the side? I push in while I lift up. I reach out, I compress that one down. Now this did exactly what I don't want to happen. Okay, and that is, is that this hook was underneath. So make sure that your hook this right here is not this way when you go to set it. Make sure that that is pointed up because otherwise you might have a problem when you get the door open. So again, I reach in, I compress the, the lock, get the lock back, lift up, rotate this. And trust me, it's a lot easier to do when you're not on camera trying to do it. And now you can actually see kind of what the animal's gonna see aside from my set in the background. It is a straight walkthrough with just those two wires. And that is how simple it is to set a Comstock trap. Are you a professional in the wildlife control industry or are you just thinking about getting started in there? Either way, consider subscribing to WCT Magazine if you're not already a subscriber. What is WCT Magazine? WCT Magazine is a bi-monthly publication specifically for the private sector of the wildlife control industry. We cover a variety of topics all the way from biology and handling up to business issues such as proposals, contracts, pricing. We cover it all. We are available or we have subscriptions available in both digital and print formats. Check out WCTMagazine.com for more information on your subscription. Okay, so what we have here is we have a hole close to this foundation. I'm not sure what animal is in it. Uh, I do believe it was a groundhog burrow originally uh, that's been collapsed but there could be a fox in here, there could be coyotes, there could be skunks, possum, raccoons, and a groundhog. Well, this is where the two-door Comstock really shines because even though it's too small of a trap for the one that I'm gonna be showing you how to place here, um, it's gonna be perfect if we have a raccoon, a groundhog, a possum, or a skunk. So let me go ahead and get that trap placed here so you can see how I do this. Okay, I have everything that I need now. You can see I have my Comstock set, and again, you can see both doors are up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear away any hard stones, clumps of dirt that might make it more difficult to get this in place. Then it's just a matter of taking the trap, putting it in the animal's travel pathway. So you can see I got a bit of an opening on that side that I'll have to take care of. But before I do that, I'm gonna show you uh, one of my tricks. And that is, if you remember, I was talking about skunks and how you can pick up the trap. Well, all I've done is I've taken the box that the trap shipped in and I went ahead and cut it and formed it so that it is covering that trap. Now I don't have to worry about if there's a skunk in here. Uh, when I come and check the trap, again, I can grab it here by the sides and pick it up like that don't have to worry about the handle not being uh, accessible. And as you can see, it's you know not gonna interfere with anything. Um, purposely did it that way. 
a lot of times I'll rock the trap back and forth to make sure it's nice and solid. Then to take care of this side over here so that nothing falls in, I'm gonna take some wire. This is a specialty product, but you could actually use cardboard. Uh, you could use plastic, anything hard that the animal can't really get through. And I don't even need to have that in there hard because it's a visual deterrent. And so I have that set like that. So this is all set and ready to go now. That's how simple and how fast these Comstocks are to go ahead and make a set with. We'll let this go. Hopefully if we have something using this, uh, we're gonna have something uh, caught in the next day or two at the most. If we're not sure whether or not the hole is active, if we don't have something, what I'll do is I'll take the trap out, I'll wad up some newspaper, put it down in that hole. And if the newspaper is not moved in another two to three days, we know nothing is using this hole and that this is good to go ahead and get sealed up. Otherwise, put the trap back and then it's just a matter of now it's the waiting game. Okay, in this scenario, we've got a, what we believe to be is a skunk that uh, was digging in a yard. Uh, we've got the hole, looks like it's an old ground bee or yellow jacket nest, because we did find some comb there. So this is one of the issues with the two door trap. Like I said in the review, you can't just put this down, put bait in it, and hopefully get the skunk that way. So what we need to do is we need to look around our surroundings and find where we believe the skunk is coming into the yard and that's where we're gonna set the trap. So let's go ahead and take a look and see if we can find where the skunk possibly is crossing into the yard. Okay, it looks like we went ahead, we found a trail here, so I'm gonna go ahead and set it up. I've got the Comstock, I already have the door set with it. This is how simple it is. I'm just gonna come down here. I'm gonna pull back some of this grass that's part of this trail. Put the trap right in there. So it's right in the animal's line of travel. Push that down a little bit. Kind of pull this up on the side so that they only have the one real good option to go through. And that's all that there is to do in this set. Okay, that's about it though for my review of the Comstock cage traps. Again, this is the double door uh, style cage trap, the 24 inch model, which is what I recommend. If you would like to go ahead and purchase one of these or more, you can do so. Uh, you can go online to Tomahawk Live Trap. Their web address is livetrap.com. You can also purchase them from Wildlife Control Supplies. Their website address is shopwcs.com. Uh, both of, the, of those uh, sites do offer the Comstock line. If you are a homeowner or a business owner who does your own wildlife control, I cannot recommend this trap enough for you. It will give you a lifetime of service. If you are a professional and you don't have any of these in your toolkit, I highly recommend getting some because they will make your life a lot easier than using the standard traps in specific situations. If you like this content, if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up, like, share with your friends, subscribe to our channel, Make sure to ring the notification bell. I know that we don't post a lot. Uh, there's several reasons for that. But when we do have something that we feel very important needs to get out to our viewers, um, that's when we're, we are definitely making sure to get you that information so you don't want to miss out. If you would like more training courses and more information on doing wildlife control, whether you're a homeowner, business owner, or a professional, you can check out our online training center. You can get there by going to our website, wctmagazine.com, clicking on the online training button in the menu on the left-hand side, 
and then there has a link. There's a link right there that will then take you to our training site. We have free courses, we have paid courses, we have some content that we post on YouTube, we have other content there for free that's not on YouTube. So if you're interested in that, go ahead, check it out. Uh, aside from that, thank you very much and thank you for watching our video.